This is a night such a beautiful... Oh, oh, hello there again. We're going to be looking at uh, some more tumors today. And here is a tumor. You can see that instantly. You might not be able to figure out where it's from. But if you really zoomed in very closely on the non-tumor part of this organ, you could very possibly see tiny, tiny little colloid follicles right in front of your eyes without a microscope, maybe with a magnifying glass. And here's part of the thyroid that has a tumor that has a very nice capsule, a soft, uniform, whitish yellow. And here's that same tumor after it's been taken out Oh, could it have possibly been fixed a little bit too? No, it looks pretty fresh. Uh, this looks like a normal thyroid. This looks like a soft uniform yellow within the thyroid. And I want to go back to show you something on the previous picture because you see all these little clicks over here on the right? These are millimeters. So you could guess that maybe this thing is what, maybe 20 millimeters or two centimeters. Well, the normal size of this normal organ is about one millimeter. This is a parathyroid. This is a parathyroid that's enlarged because it's all tumor. This is a parathyroid adenoma. The normal weight of a parathyroid should only be about what, 30, 40 um, milligrams, and it should only be about a millimeter or about as big as a half a piece of rice, uncooked. So here we have a nice microscopic section now through this uh, in parathyroid tumor. But let's take a look at the little edge around it first. I think that if you look at this edge, you could recognize this as being your slam dunk normal parathyroid tissue. Why? because it has these uh, darker, smaller chief cells, because it has these uh, bigger, redder oxyphil cells. That's why they're red. And there's always an invariable mixing with fat. You have both kinds of cells here mixed together. That's a sign that it is a not a tumor. If you go to this area here, which is tumor, it's a monoclonal proliferation of one of the types of cells. Not the chief cells, because that doesn't look like that, but of the oxyphil cells. This is an oxyphil adenoma. Adenoma means it's benign. And you could already see from this power that all those nuclei look very, very nice and very, very round and very, very benign, but even just as important is the fact that this entire tumor is extremely well demarcated in all areas from the surrounding uh, parathyroid tissue. Uh, parathyroid adenomas uh, are often found, usually found, because somebody gets a blood test and they find out that their calcium is high. So they try to figure out why, and they find these little buggers. You can do scans. Uh, and I think that might be all that I want to say. But remember, sometimes if parathyroids are enlarged because of hyperplasia rather than adenomas. And I know pathologists and surgeons make a big fight and a big fuss about whether something is a hyperplasia or an adenoma. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, first of all, the adenomas never turn into cancer, and of course, hyperplasias can't by definition. But the thing that I want to point out is because this is one specific type of cell, the oxyphils, like you see here, it is much, much more likely to be a true adenoma, a true tumor, because it's a monoclonal pro proliferation. If this big tumor or something like it was mixed in with chief cells and oxyphils, it would be more likely to be hyperplastic tissue that you see here. So thank you very much.